in this percent unit. You need to be able to convert between these three things. You just we just marked something that happened to be out of twenty, right? And you might have you might have gotten fifteen out of twenty. This is one way you can write it as a fraction. There's a whole bunch of different fractions you could write. You could write some equivalent fractions to that. What are a couple of equivalent fractions to 15 out of 20? 45 out of 60. 45 out of 60. Wow, okay. 45 out of 60. Multiply the top and the bottom by 3. What else? Got it. You got to put your hand up, right? And this. What's another one? What's another one? 25 out of 100. 75 out of 100, yes, exactly. We should get it right if we're changing it. 75 out of 100, you're right. There's lots of them, right? What would be the one in lowest terms? What is it if you have it in lowest terms? What is it? Three quarters, right? All of those represent the same number. Getting 15 out of 20 is the same as getting 3 out of 4 or getting 45 out of 60. That's representing something as a fraction. If you want to represent it as a decimal, you have two options here to represent it as a decimal. One option is to, uh, if you want to change this to a, a decimal, you can divide on a calculator or just by using what you know about division. One way you can do it is to divide if you want to make it into a decimal. If you go to your calculator and you go 15 divided by 20, that's what this is. A fraction represents division. This bar represents division. That's actually what you're going to use to show division in high school. You're not going to use that divided by sign anymore. But you can just go, you can just go 15 divided by 20 on your calculator, and it's going to give you 0 0.75. If you don't believe me, let's get the calculator out here and check, because we'll probably need it after for some other ones. Okay. So if you go 15 divided by 20. On the calculator here, it shows that line as divide. That, that's like this line here. If you do any of the other ones, right, 3 divided by 4, they're all the same number. They all are equal to the same number, even though you're using different terms to represent it. So that's one way, divide on the calculator. The other way would be to make it something out of 100 and then just use what you know about how to represent that, right? Okay, so the other way is you could, I'm going to put a big or here, okay? So divide or make a fraction out of 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. Make a fraction out of 10, 100, 1,000, etc. So like this one, right? If you have 75 out of 100, you know that that's 0.75. All right, so that's that's another way to change something to a decimal, is make it a fraction out of a hundred or a thousand or a power of ten. All right, if you aren't copying this down, I really strongly recommend that you copy it down. If you want to go the other way, if you want to change this, you know, a decimal into a back into a fraction, this is what you're going to do, right? You're going to take this and make it a. Fr you're going to do the reverse of this. You're going to make, if somebody gives you a decimal, you can make it a fraction out of 100, 10, 1,000, or whatever. All right? So converting between fractions and decimals, I'm assuming you've done a lot before. And you've even done a little bit with percentages. Okay? So if we want to make this the third, the third way of representing this here is as a percent. Percent, let's make that blue just for whatever reason. If we want to make this into a percent, how are we going to make this into a percent? How do you make a decimal into a percent? Times, yeah, you can times 100. I, th I think if, if people are given the decimal, they just take this and they times it by 100, move the decimal two spots to the right like that, and you get 75%, right? Or you can just write it, if you go directly as the fraction, some people would rather write it as a fraction first. If it's written as 75 out of 100, that's what percent means, right? Per 100. 75 out of 100 is 75%. If you can make it a fraction out of 100, so we can say 
multiply by a hundred percent, right? Multiply by a hundred and put a percent sign. Or the other way would be to make a fraction out of a hundred. Okay, make it out of a hundred and then have a look at what it is. So that would be the other way you could change things. Basically the key here is to work with fractions out of a hundred. Okay. Now the focus of this chapter is not on nice easy percents like 75 out of 100. The focus in grade 8 is the three different things that we have three different things here. We'll write them out down below here. Okay. Did I skip past that too quickly? We've got percentages. We're going to say percent greater than 100. Okay, percentages greater than 100, like 130%. Okay, 130%. And we're going to write it as, so I should have left this over here, 130%, because we had, we had percent over here. Let's make kind of a table. Percent over here, decimal over here, and fraction. If you have 130%, now you, you can write either of the other two first. Which one do you think it's easier to write first, the fraction or the decimal, if you're given the percent? Well, I, you could argue either way, right? If you think the fraction, it's probably because if you have 130%, you can just make it out of 100, right? Just write it right away out of 100. 130% is like 130 out of 100. Okay, 130 out of 100. Or if you want to put that in lowest terms, what's that in lowest terms? 13 out of 10. 13 out of 10. Right? You can divide by the same thing, top and the bottom. If you want to write it as a decimal, you can either work now from the fraction you wrote or from the dec from the percent over there. If you want to make a percent into a decimal, right now the decimal's there. You can move it. One, two spots that way, as in you can divide by 100%, right? Divide by 100 to make it into this. What's the decimal going to be for this? Yeah, it's going to be 1.3, or you could call it 1.30 if you want. 130% is like 1.30 or 1.3. What I would put down there is a note that says, if the percent is greater than 100, okay, let's make this stand out and even make it a different color here. Okay, we got we got a percent greater than 100 means decimal more than 1. Okay? A decimal that's more than 1. Percent greater than 100 means a decimal more than 1 and it means a fraction that's more than 1. Fraction where the top number is bigger than the bottom number, right? Right? And you could even write that down if you want. Percents greater than 100 means the decimal is more than 1 and the fraction is more than 1. Top number is bigger than the bottom number. The second thing we, we have in this unit is we have uh, percentages that are less than 1%, like 0.2%. So this is like less than 1%. Think about what 1% is like. 1% is like one square on that grid. You did some shading in the first section last time. One square of one of those grids is one percent. If I made a if I made a ten by ten grid here, I'll do it and then we'll get rid of it after. Uh, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? Eight, nine, ten. So that's that's a hundred grid, I think. Actually, yes, it is. Yeah, it's a hundred grid. If I'm going to shade 02 percent. One of these things right here, this is 1% of that grid shaded. If I want to shade 0.2%, I need to cut that up into, well, I could cut it up into 10 pieces and then shade two of them, or I could cut it up into five pieces and shade one of them. Now, that's not done very well, but that's cutting that up into 10 pieces. That's 0.2%. It's less than one square. It's, it's a fifth of a square, right? It's one-fifth of a square. 0.2% or one-fifth percent, okay? Okay? 
0.2%, less than 1%. It's hard to visualize those things, but in the work you were doing, you were, you were doing this and you were showing an enlarged version of that, right? You were, you were showing a square that was bigger and how much was shaded in. Okay, that's what that is. What you can do if you want to change this here, 0.2%. Let's get rid of that now. So this is a, this is a percent that's less than one, right? Percent less than one. Percents that are less than one are going to be pretty small decimals, right? What's easier to write first, the fraction or the percent? Or fraction or decimal? Either one, you think? Either one. If you were going to write the, the decimal first, you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to, you're going to divide it by 100 or move the decimal two spots to the left. If you move this two spots to the left, I'm out of digits. What do I have to do? Put a zero there. This is going to be 0 0.002 as a decimal. 0 0.002. When you have a percent less than one, that's going to mean that you have a decimal where the first two things are zeros. Okay? 0 0.00 something. Okay? It's going to be a decimal, decimal less than 0 0.010, right? It's going to be less than that. It's going to be 0, 0.00 something. I'll even put that here. 0, 0.00 0 something. All right. And then the third thing here, the fraction. How can we write the fraction? You can work from either one here. You can work from this or you can work from this. If you work directly from the decimal, what are we going to write? You learned long ago about how decimal numbers work. 0 0.002 is like 2 out of how much if it's in the third digit here? 2 out of 1,000, right? 2 out of 1,000. These are the thousandths, right? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. That's like two out of a thousand as a fraction. Or if you wanted to make that lowest terms, what would that be? One out of, one out of, you don't have enough fingers. How many? One out of what? No, no, I was just counting. Okay. One out of 500. If you wanted to work from this, you might write something like this. You might say 0.2% Percent means out of 100, 0.2 out of 100. That's a weird looking fraction to write. You don't usually write fractions with decimals in them, but what could you do once you write a fraction like that to make it into a fraction that you want? What could you do? If you have 0.2 out of 100, you can multiply by something to make the top number a whole number, right? What could you multiply the top number to make it a whole number? What could you do? You could either do 5 or 10. If you times that by 5, you can make this 1 out of 500. So either way you get there, it doesn't matter. You can go directly from the percent or from the decimal. So we got we got percents greater than 100 and percents less than 1. one of the, the third one is the one that people maybe struggle with is percents that are in, involve fractional amounts. Okay, percents involving fractions. Like um, 8 and 3 quarter percent. So this is... Percents involving fractions. Okay, percents involving fractions. We want to try and convert those to the other two forms. What would be a good intermediate step here? Before, I think a lot of people try to do this directly to this, and then they get it wrong. Eight and three quarter percent. I would say a good intermediate step is to write it as eight point something percent first. Write it as a percent that involves a decimal. What's three quarters as a decimal? What is it? 7.5. Yeah, 7.5. It's, it's the one we had right up above here, right? Three quarters was 0.75. So you could write this as 8.75 percent. That's a, probably a good step to do first. Write it as a fraction first, or write it as a decimal involving a decimal first, because then if we want to change it to a percent, what can we do? If you want to, sorry, if you want to change this to a fraction, what can you do with this? Do you want to write this as a fraction? How do you write this as a fraction? You can either change it to a decimal first, which in this case is probably the easiest, 
and then change it to a fraction. What do you do with this decimal? If I want to make this into a decimal, what do I move, do with this? Which way do I go? Do I go that way? Do I go this way? It's it's percent is like this, right? 8.75% is like 8.75 out of 100. Just divide that on your calculator. If it's percent, just divide it by 100 and see, right? If you want it as a decimal, it means getting rid of that percent side, divide it by 100. If you divide it by 100, it's moving that decimal two spots that way, right? This is going to be 0 0.0875. The first two spots are the whole number percent, and the rest of it is the fractional percent. The first two spots are the whole number percent. Okay, I'm going to put down here whole number part. And we're going to put down here fractional part. The first two spots of anything are the are the whole number part. If you go back to the one we did before here, when we had 0.2%, was there any whole number part of this? Like down here we have 8 and 3 quarter percent. Do we have any whole number part of the percent up here? Nothing, right? So the first two spots here are both zeros. Down here we have 8 as the whole number part, so the first two parts are 0 0.08. And the fractional part is the 0.75. So just think about it as you're changing that. All right. Now if we want to write it as a fraction, it's probably easier to work from the decimal to the fraction. How do you write that as a, as a decimal? Because this you did in elementary school, right? Right? 0 0.0875, you, were, you probably got pretty good in elementary school at writing. It's 875 out of how much? This is tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths, right? There's four digits there, so you've got to put four zeros here. 875 out of 10,000. You might not instantly be able to reduce that to lowest terms, but I think you can. What would be a number that would be a good one to try that we could divide both those by? Five. Divide them both by five. I bet you could actually divide them both by five. 25. 875 divided by 25 is 35 and you can definitely divide the bottom by 25, right? What can you do what do you get when you divide the bottom by 25? 400. Can we divide it even more it looks like? Yep. Divide the top by 5 you get 7. Divide the bottom by 5 you get something. What do you get? You get 80, right? So it's going to be 7 out of 80. That's 7 out of 80 in lowest terms. Or if you have some fancy calculator that can do this, if you have if you have uh, 875 divided by 10,000, you might have a feature on your calculator that can change it for you. Like on here, there's this thing that changes it into a fraction in lowest terms, 7 out of 80 right away. What? <laughs> what is that? Now you're suddenly interested? You woke up now suddenly? Oh, what? I want that feature that lets me not have to do it myself. I still, I still need you to be able to do this. When we do, you know, when we do assessment on this, likely I'm going to have some of it that you're not having a calculator. So don't totally get dependent on that feature. But do we think we're okay with this concept here? I want you to remember two things here. There's three different ways you can represent these numbers, and you have to be able to convert between each of them. And there's the focus of this chapter is three different things. It's percents greater than 100, percents less than 1, and percents involving fractions. You've got to be able to get to the point where you're comfortable with each of those things. Okay, this is a pretty important section and it takes a while.